Hi everyone. Today I am going to show you how to execute the matrix multiplication program. So to start any Hadoop program execution, first we have to check that name node, data node, resource manager, node managers are already started or not. That we have to check with the JPS command. See resource manager is available, secondary name node, data node, name node, node manager, all the nodes are available now the thing is to execute the program first we have to write the program how to write g edit then the program name matrix multiplication dot java see here this whatever the matrix multiplication the name i have given this is my class name of the java program see here this is a matrix multiplication is a my class name. That class name should be a name of the Java program. This program I have already written. Now the thing is to create the input. See here this is the Hadoop execution. In the Hadoop huge amount of the data will be present that data will be in input will be in the form of a file so we are going to be creating the file for the matrix multiplication first we'll discuss about the what is matrix multiplication matrix multiplication means multiplication of the two matrices and the one rule is there in the matrix multiplication m cross n and p cross q if the two matrices are there n and p, q, p should be same then only the matrix multiplication will happen so we have to take care while giving the input input i will make input one dot txt one file input one dot txt i have taken already the input next input txt here i have taken the a matrix another one is a b matrix two matrices i have taken this two matrices we have to put in the hadoop first hadoop first to put these things in a hadoop first we have to create one folder in the hadoop with the command mkdir folder name I will give the matrix matrix input ok now we will check that it has been created or not with the ls command matrix input this matrix this has been created this is a directory now in this directory we are going to be putting putting our inputs how to put the input in the hadoop the command is put command hadoop fs put that file name what file name you want to put input one dot txt space where you want to put matrix input next same thing for the input 2 the two inputs we have moved in the matrix input folder now we will check that one with the hadoop fs hyphen ls matrix input yes our two inputs are there here input 1 and input 2 we are moved into the uh, matrix input folder in the Hadoop the matrix input folder is created in the Hadoop then in that folder we have moved this input 1 input 2 two files now the thing is to compile our program now we will compile our matrix multiplication program 
with the command first command is hadoop com dot send dot tools dot java c dot main space the program name we have to write down here matrix multi dot java then you have to press enter it will compile if any errors are there in the java program it is going to be showing that errors no errors then it will come out see after this compilation it is going to be creating the class files now we are going to put all these class file into the a jar file we will create one jar file all the classes we are going to be keeping in this jar file i'll create a ma matrix multiplication dot jar matrix multi star multiple class files are going to be created so i will give the star to reach to all the class files it is going to be creating the jar file now the thing is for the execution see why we are going to be creating the jar means in the hadoop what will happen hadoop the data will be present what computation we want to do that computation we are going to moving to the hadoop due to the huge data the data will not be moved where the computation will be there instead of that one the computation will be moved where the data will be present there the computation will happen then only the results will be coming to the user this is a procedure so we are going to be compiling our program creating the jar then we are going to be moving our computation to the hadoop for the execution so now the execution will be there hadoop jar here we have to mention that jar file then our program name matrix multi then our input what is our input our input is there in the matrix input so we have to specify that matrix input see two files are there in the word count only single file was there so we are going to be giving the complete path here two input files are there so we are going to be specifying the folder only this folder we are going to be specifying not the files next is the output matrix output we are going to be specifying see here in the program i have taken that i am going to be specifying the um, so matrix information that is m n and the q 2 cross 2 matrix is there so i am going to give this information then it will take it will do the execution it will start doing the execution here here total input files are 2 number of splits are 2 then it is going to be starting the execution our job is running now now the map and radius are 0 first the map, map, map will execute then the radius will execute whenever the input is going, going to be given the input is going, divided into two parts then first the map will be executing multi, the input will be split for the maps map will be executing then that output is going to be given to the radius then radius will execute and it is going to give the combined results our execution is complete now now what we have to do is we have to see our output file has been created or not with the ls command we are going to be seeing that our output has been created or not see here matrix out it has been created so we'll see that one matrix out it will show the content of the folder here success and the part 2 success it will is going to tell that the pro execution is successful this part art is the, our result will be present here this is our file we have to check this file for our results how to see the content of the file using the cat command cat we have to specify location of the file 
matrix out part here in this file our output is there so we are going to be checking our output here see this is our output of the matrix multiplication see this see if you want to check this one GUI with a GUI you, we can do that one using the local host 8088 this this is going to be specified so with this location we are going to be do, checking that one see matrix multiplication has been executed it has been completed or not see when it has been run Monday January Monday it has been executed and it has been finished and it is a successful allocated CPU V cores any you can see the history also and if you want to see that how the uh, file structure of the Hadoop that also we can see these all the things are already specified so we have to use these things localhost colon 570 you have to specify and you can see check the Hadoop this is the Hadoop here summary is there security is off safe mode is off DFS used how many DFS distributed file system this all the things it is going to be what is the name node storage DFS type journal manager status all the things will be giving the information if you want to see the file system you can browse here browse the file system see what are the nodes we are created here we have created the matrix input see two inputs are there you can check the content also if you want This is our content. Everything will be there here. You can check these things. Created or not, if you have any doubts, if you want to search any particular things, you can search here. Matrix output. Directly click on this one. Here output will be there. You can show the output directly. Here also you can show the whatever the output is there this is our output see you can see the output with this GUI this is the GUI used for seeing the output 